carrying out their first in-person public engagement this year, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall arrived at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital wearing masks. They were greeted by a socially distanced health secretary, the Prince joking with Matt Hancock that he would have come sooner but was waiting for his own turn to be vaccinated. The royal couple are both in their 70s and had their first jab last week, but today was to show them the trials going on at the QE to determine how well the vaccines are working and to meet the volunteers taking part. You haven't been, you haven't been vaccinated yet? No, Not this is my first vaccine. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to having it. <laughs> you, you've both had it, haven't you? Yes, Absolutely. you've had both. No one. One, yeah. yeah. Having the heir to the throne casually appear round the corner of your vaccination station must have been quite a moment, certainly one to take your mind off the approaching needle. Prince Charles went on to chat to Chief Pharmacist Indijit Singh, who explained how the trials will work, while Camilla asked about the joy and relief patients feel about getting the jab. I, 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 I think they're longing to give you a huge hug to say thank they, you. They, you have to push them off. Yes, especially some of the city of the old, we had an old gentleman, he just wanted to hug us. Yeah, it's lovely, really. Yeah. The University Hospital's Birmingham NHS Foundation Trust, which runs the QE, is thought to have treated more than 12,500 COVID-positive patients, more than any other NHS trust in the UK. 10,000 of those have now been discharged. Another 12,000 patients have been recruited for the trials, another supreme NHS effort for which both the prince and the politician showed their appreciation. Your work is about getting us out of the pandemic. So uh, from the bottom of my heart, and not just from me, but frankly from everybody across, uh, across Birmingham, across the country, I am really grateful. And I hope you continue to have increasing success in battling against this uh, abominable virus, but you're winning by the sound of it, and that is the great thing. The Prince and the Duchess then unveiled a plaque enshrining their thanks for future NHS staff to see once all this becomes a distant memory. And as the royal couple left, a photo opportunity for the man in charge, with Matt Hancock substituting the traditional call to look at the camera with one for the times we're all still living in. Everybody smile and say vaccinate. <laughs> Andy Bevan, ITV News.